Pratip has a question. Can we assume play of desires in oneness by inference? And just below it in duality, desires appear. Although no knowledge is possible in oneness, the play of desires is not an inference. It is our direct experience. Now, to say that play of desires is happening in oneness or below it is meaningless because everything is happening in oneness and everything appears in duality. The desires are aborted at the level of mind in duality. Yes, it, it is happening totally in the illusion because that which aborts the desires is also an illusion. The It is not correct to say that the desire is aborted. We say that the action is aborted because the desire is already there. If it is detected by the intellect, the desire is already there. Now, in an unaware person, the desire will result in an action, more or less. In the aware person, the desire is not really aborted, it is postponed. Today I won't do it. This is not important to do today. It is unnecessary to do. As soon as the awareness is there, these thoughts replace the thoughts of the desire generated by the desire. It is always postponed. So what is happening at the level of oneness is there is a potential, there is a possibility of these desires to appear and they keep appearing. Please note my words. They keep appearing, never stop. Because that which never starts, never stops. So endless, endless desires. The, if you try to find out the source of the desires, it is the vibration itself. The primordial vibration is the primordial desire of the existence. If there is no vibration in the existence, there won't be any illusion. There won't be any manifestation. Nothing will appear. So even in oneness, we can assume the latent desires are there. They are manifested as thoughts in a human being. Actually, they are being manifested in everything. When the seed grows into a sapling, a plant, it is nothing but the desire. When the moon is orbiting the earth, nothing but desire. So ancient people saw this and they called it the will. Some people, religious people, they call it the will of God. And in Tantra, we call it the desire of the Devi. Devi is nothing but desire. So it is manifested at various levels and it will never go away. To think that I can abort a desire by simply becoming aware is a mistake. I can abort the action. Yes, that is possible. But there are consequences. This abortion of the action also is an action and therefore it has consequences. These consequences are not in our control. The action is in our control. Everybody knows from the BG. BG says this, that don't worry about the consequences. Worry about what you do. That's all is in our control. The appearance of the desire is not in our control. And the consequences are not in our control. That's why we say it's a play. What is awareness doing is sequencing the desires. What do we want? Not suppression of the desire. We want resequencing. That which is unnecessary, that which is, you see, imposed from outside, which is not my allocation for this life, must be postponed. That which is necessary is my allocation, must be done. That desire must be fulfilled, not by hook or crook, <laughs> in an intelligent way, so that we can avoid the consequences as much as possible. Desire is generated at the non-physical level. So, it is possible to fulfill it there. But remember that there will be endless numbers. Endless num amount of it, they are hidden in the fabric of oneness. Actually, there is nothing else in oneness except this will, except this desire. The vibration is the desire. It has taken many forms. All the experience can be seen as experience of desiring. Not my desire. Obviously, there is no me, so there is no my desire. It is the desire of the whole, we can say, or nobody's desire, nobody's desire. And this dance is there. So yes, it may look like that there is a will of me, free will, you can say choice, he's using the word choice, that I have a choice, but we know there is no me. This choice is also an illusion, like he said, but the, this choice is also of the Devi. The choice is also of the oneness, the existence. It is not really a choice. It is simply a loop. There is a delay. That's all. 
something is seen as more important and that is chosen automatically and it continues it is very simple it is very mechanical thing because it's simply vibration it gives an illusion that there is something which is choosing and because of the identification an ordinary ignorant person will say i chose i became aware and then i chose the desire no nothing like this happens so hopefully that answers the question everything can be seen as a desire even the tiniest moment in the existence is nothing but a desire it has become very very complicated and uh, sophisticated in case of humans and there is identification with it added drama with it and uh, this whole evolution is a desire actually whole evolution is a desire and the only useful desire that we have <laughs> in the whole existence is to know my true nature one out of infinite rest are useless one is most important from the point of view of uh, the oneness everything is happening perfectly it will say i am perfect everything is happening perfect that is also our direct experience if the if the human factor is introduced then yes some things should not happen <laughs> but the illusion does not care the maya devi does not care it just goes on and on and on so it is only our ignorance that is causing misery and happiness and all everything is actually as good as it should be monica is saying there are some experiences that leave a strong impact on mind for a long time and it becomes difficult to tackle with that and that unwanted visuals keep wandering in mind as a seeker how am i supposed to respond to this kind of situation now the answer should be obvious answer should be obvious that you need to be in awareness there is nothing wrong here as a seeker also there is nothing wrong here what is happening is the machinery is triggered and it is doing its usual dance the visuals are not unwanted as soon as you say that they are unwanted you have created suffering within you although they are not also wanted they are what they are some event happened and now the machinery of the mind like she said instrument instrument is functioning properly isn't it do you want it to function in some other way no don't even think like this that somebody some event has happened which is negative some experience and now you don't want the instrument to function in the normal way you want it to remain silent you will see that the consequences are very bad for this there will be no self defense there will be no life left in you this this will be treated treated like some kind of madness they will be you will be sent to the seeker you will be sent to mental hospital so it is not uh, wise to try to change what is happening in the mind unless it is already an affliction of some kind you don't want to change it it's healthy behavior and now you in this whole knowledge you need to abide that the instrument is functioning well okay testing testing 1 2 3 4 yes functioning well now watch it watch it and under the microscope of your awareness how it is functioning now comes the important part what should i do and the answer is very obvious do that which is necessary do that which is necessary somebody is you know attacking you now the instrument is functioning yes check but do you want to simply observe the instrument there no let the defense happen i mean there is nobody to defend but let the defense happen that is necessary if somebody just joked about you you took it as an insult no problem it's normal but no action is necessary here even though there is a desire for action simply watch it and uh, the decision should be that well leave it i let it go and you will find that 90% of your actions desires and all uh, thoughts totally unnecessary that happen in a day you can let them go and the result is immense amount of peace and bliss and this bliss is never disturbed because you know i am doing the necessary it must be done there is no i also there is no ego involved also you know that it is happening it must happen like this i am hungry is now i am disturbed you know what has happened here i am a seeker i should not be hungry but look this is how the natural thing functions now you should go and eat very simple so this is the response to the situation be in awareness do the necessary do not react do not 
try to stop do not suppress do not overreact oh i am a seeker and this thought came in my mind is the dirty thought no it's okay it's fine it's all okay do not act on it if it's not necessary isn't it that will be an overreaction you don't want waves in your mind you want it to be calm and quiet a little bit of vibration sometimes happens that is bliss it it will come without meditation it will come without standing on your head this is the purest form of meditation awareness not manipulating not holding your breath to stop your mind that is unnatural remember that this is going to be eternal this is what is going to happen eternally right now you find that it is very limited and limited by the form that uh, that is taken now the human form when the human form will be dropped very soon you are a seeker isn't it few days remaining and then the same activity you will be seen in another form same activity in more advanced forms you cannot get rid of it you cannot get rid of the instrument and uh, only thing you can do is be detached from it it is not me is it working okay yes what is the sign that it is not working okay suffering of any kind you know the body is a layer of the mind if the body is not working okay it produces pain pain is a suffering it means there is something wrong in the body now do that which is necessary to stop this defect to clear this affliction and now it is happy this will continue forever 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 you need to let go let go of this madness to control everything be aware and the control happens